This is Rashara Degas um, discussing today a uh, trigger thumb or A1 pulley release. Here we're making our transverse incision here in the uh, flexor crease at, along the area with the A1 pulley. Care is taken with our incision to ensure that we only go just deep enough to get to the subcutaneous tissue. This is to ensure that we do not injure the radial neurovascular bundle. Uh, using small double hooks, we're able to dissect with care taken again to remove the tissue but get down to the flexor tendon sheath. The pulley is now identified. And an attempt is made to identify the radial, radial, radial nerve and nerve vascular structures. <laughs> we can see the nerve there. So a, um, a crowl retractor is in place in to retract the nerve. Here you can see the pulley. You can see the proximal edge of the pulley is illustrated here by our scissor. We will use a knife to incise the proximal edge, extending distally. Here we can see the pulley begin to open. We then use a, a tenotomy scissor to uh, complete the release distally. Uh, care is taken again not to injure the tendon or disrupt the neurovascular bundle. And now proximally the release is completed as well. The pulley leaflets are easily identified and they're easy, <coughs> easy to note complete release because of the redundancy that is now in the leaflets. Any residual catching or triggering, which is noted with active flexion, is then released. <coughs> Here again, we can see smooth motion of the, of the tendon itself. And now the skin is closed using a 3 nylon suture. Two mattress sutures typically take care of the uh, closure. A soft dressing is in place, and patient is allowed active motion of the IP joint immediately. Sutures are removed typically in 10 to 14 days, and from that point, activity is unrestricted.